this hour and WLEX reporter Jamie Weiss joins us live here from Kirksville. Hello, Jamie. Can you tell us about the damage and the recovery efforts still going on there? Yeah, the damage here is extensive. Kirksville was one of the hardest hit areas, but this storm really hit three counties. The building inspectors have already been out. The emergency management agency is trying to get people temporary housing for those who need it. And this storm hit every house. I mean, it was brick homes, trailers, barns. It didn't matter where you lived. It would. It came for many, many different structures. And really today, the stories of survival are coming out. Of course, two people died in this storm. They were in a trailer, and three other people who were in that trailer were taken to the hospital. Uh, that trailer was blown into a pond, and those three people that were taken to the hospital were now being told that an ambulance that was driving by on a different run saw what happened, went over. They actually pulled one of the children out of the water, and their mother actually held their her head above water until more rescue crews could get there to get her out of the hospital. The two little boys that were in the water are going to be released from the hospital today, and everyone here, the coroner, the emergency management director, the family of those boys are saying they probably wouldn't have made it if that ambulance wasn't there. So a lot of recovery. People are just trying to get back to life as normal, but these amazing stories of survival are really starting to come out today. And Jamie, we heard about a widespread windstorm across this region. Was this definitely a tornado that occurred in this town? Yeah, I was actually out with the surveyor from the National Weather Service on Saturday, and they are saying that this storm reached up to 140 miles an hour. It ranged between an EF1 and an EF3, depending on which area of the region you were in. All right, thank you. Jamie Weiss here from Kirksville. We wish all the best to all the families there and, and sympathies for those who lost loved ones. Hmm. Well, all day we've been telling you about